Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth, and I'm back with more Simon Hurley goodness. This is part of the new release that was gifted to me, and all they ask is that I make some honest videos. And if you know me at all, I honestly love the Simon Hurley Create line. There's so many good goodies in there, very thoughtful, um, very mindful of what... Uh, what can be used in a stamp set? I mean, look at this. It's loaded. Loaded with goodness. This one is called Succulents. And today, we're going to use this little one right there. We're going to color it with these three colors. I thought it would be fun to do like a bright green. And I will show you what that looks like here. There's my little color swatch. See that? Woo! It's going to be so fun. So I've got my three greens for this guy right here. I still got to stamp it. I think that's the only thing I didn't pre-do. Pre pre-do. So we've got that. Then I'm taking the scrapbook.com nested dies. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Aren't these the cutest little hexagons? Um, I did take... I skipped the three middle ones and picked out those three. Okay. So that when they're on my card base, which I am using a top fold skinny card, but I'm going to do it in book format this time. We're going to have our big one and then we're going to have these two sizes stacked on the side. So you can literally go with anything that you want to do. You can have your card looking like this. You could do one here and then use less, you know, cut that in half and then you can use the other half over there. Lots of options, lots of fun things. And here's the other thing too. Okay. You can take them and kind of rotate them around and they almost look like a succulent, right? Or a rose or something. So you can kind of play with your shapes, do what you feel inspired to do. But the little guy, I did cut two one for each side the big guy that goes in the middle I only cut one of him and then I cut two of the medium that are also going on the ends okay so we've got those cut and ready to go yay me um the succulent um does have a coordinating die if you wish um super fun it has a bonus hugs in there which is fabulous, you know, pokey, pokey little things and you need hugs, right? Prickly little hugs. I think it's wonderful. But, uh, so this is going to fit perfectly. We're going to die cut that, but I did die cut just some blanks. I glued three, um, scrap pieces of paper together. So my center piece is going to be really nice and thick in the center of that. Okay. So get yourself, um, you're basically going to need four pieces of paper for this particular die, three to glue together, and one to stamp color, then glue on, okay? So that one, and the these ones do have coordinating dies. All these, these and these black ones, um, you can color them up and stamp them, so you don't have to color them with pins if you don't want to. You can make your life a lot easier. Um, add some light green, dark green, and then darker green. You can do a fade with your inks, however you want to do it. Lots of, lots of great opportunities there. Okay, so I've got my regular A2 size card base, four and a quarter, five and a half. I don't need another piece. We're just going to use it like this, and this is going to be nice and white. We have our little medallion there getting ready. And then I pulled some colors, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I pulled these colors. Okay. And I did a little swatch. I wanted to make sure, which I know, these two go together. Ugh. They're fabulous. Tropical Tango. Sorry. Tropical Tango. Crown Me. I know they go together. Okay. They go together so beautifully. Like, I can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Crown Me. Tropical Tango. Beautiful. But I wanted to know if my clear skies was going to blend with that nicely. Because I want it nice and bright. So I did a little dab right there. A little dab will do ya. Okay. That's all you need to do a little test to make sure everything looks good. 
And remember, if you're wanting to see how they look together, you got to make sure all three are touching. Okay, the blue is touching the purple and the uh, tropical tango, vice versa. So don't do it in a line. Okay, because when you get out here, you're not going to know if that color here is going to match down here. Do it in a circle, like combine them together so that they're really close together. And that's all you need. Just a little scrap piece. This is where this was a big sheet and I cut all my pieces. So then my stamp is going to go there, which we're going to do now. Let's get our stamp out. I almost forgot. <laughs> we're not actually going to use the ink pad. I needed to blend them together and make sure they're going to go nice. But on the middle one, we're going to do some lunar paste. And we actually need to do this first to make sure it dries. But I did grab out my stamp and my memento because I'm using alcohol markers. And this, this won't bleed and get all mucky muck. So we've got our stamp, our ink there. So we're going to set that there. Okay. Now this piece... It's going to go on top of this. So you can see it's not a ton. It's not a ton. We need to go in quite a bit on the corners. Not so much on the edges. So we don't need to fill in the center center piece. So we're just going to get our little spatula. Because I want it kind of textury and pokey. Kind of like um, the succulent, right? And if you get crusties, don't worry about them. You can spread them on still. Okay. Don't worry if it gets on your mat, your glass mat. I promise you guys. See, so I'm going to take that little crusty and wipe it onto a scrap piece of paper. Okay. Around the edges always gets kind of mucky. Good practice is to um, kind of clean that up each time. I don't do good practices. I'm kind of terrible about that. So I want it very textury. See that? Look at that. And I'm not worried about the backside, right? Because that's going um, to be on the back. Oops. And the lunar paste, you guys, it lasts so long. I've had um, all of my colors, they're original. Well, I used up all of my slippery when wet but uh you know i've had these since they've came out okay i i was on that party bus i was like take my money i'll take the lunar paste okay oh look at how spiky just look at all that texture you guys oh my goodness and wait wait till it dries it's even more gorgeous i don't know what it is it's magical it really is Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to do a little cleanup, and I'm going to set this aside to dry, and I'll be right back. <laughs> you guys, cleanup is so much fun. Ugh. I do a cleanup with a scrap piece of paper, and <laughs> it got a little messy, <sighs> but <laughs> it made a beautiful piece of paper, let me tell you. So I'm just stamping in that Memento ink, like I said, for alcohol coloring. And we're just, ugh. Uh, I love stamping, don't you? Like when you stamp and it's like, ah, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Don't even have to do it a second time. That's even better. Let me, ooh. Let me clean this off right quick, just like that. Okay, so um, somewhere on here, I haven't die cut it yet. So it's like, we just have to <laughs> spin it around. See, there's this pointy piece right here that has an extra pointy piece. That's not the extra pointy piece, nor is that. Where is that? I feel it's around here somewhere. This one? No. We're just gonna 
rotate it around somewhere it'll pop up see I don't know I don't know oop did we find it no it's like way kind of this is close <laughs> so I'm gonna turn that to the other side oh that's close too but nope you guys please hold <laughs> I did it so my problem was I was trying to like line it up really close and then it was shoving it off on this side and I wasn't seeing it you guys <laughs> You gotta give a little space between everything. And so for this, there is like this little flat spot on the die. Okay, can you see that? There's kind of that flat spot. It goes right here. So it kind of goes to the back side of the flower, if you can kind of imagine, because these get really big really fast. So if I call that the back side of the flower, that's just gonna pop right in there. Look at that. Oh, and yeah, I did all that work, but I got to color it. But I'm going to take this just like this, put this right here, zoomy zoom. Oh, is that all I can zoom? I guess that'll do. And so I have my three colors. You know, I have that dark one, the medium, and the bright. I'm going to do the bright very last. I do want the bright on my tips. We're going to do the very dark one very first, okay? Yep, that's the dark one. Let's grab the better end. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, in the center is going to be your darkest area. So I'm just going to color that one in completely dark. Okay. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Now, I'm going to dot. My hands are kind of extra shaky today. So I'm just going to dot in the color and for these first ones I'm going on the um, outside right because those are the tips you know it's blooming so these are actually the tips so and I want those not as dark right look at me shaking shaking like a leaf and so same thing, these are the tips, closer in are the tips. So I'm gonna do my dark part in the back. That's where these layers are casting shadow on the bottom layers, okay? So this right here, okay? These little pieces are the curls. It's where it's kind of curled up, okay? So these ones are gonna be in reverse. The shadow is gonna be here and a little bit here okay so we're gonna have a interesting thing and you don't have to dot it in perfectly by all means so this one here I'm gonna leave bright because that's the fold over that's the fold over but this one is a fold over but it's got fold over over it <laughs> it's over over but see, this is like it's curled over, but then it's going to be dark there. It's going to be dark there. So you can have your darks touching. There's nothing saying you can't do that. That's going to go there. We're going to, we're going to color most of that one. And that's an over piece. That's an under. That's an under. That's an under. That's an over, over under here under here and just a teeny bit there just a teeny bit okay now for the rest of them all the dark is going to be here okay and being a floral we don't want harsh lines that's when dotting comes in okay when you create a dot it takes away the straightness of it all, right? See how that one's like really straight? Let me scoot over this way. 
um, really straight right there, this almost like a heart shape. If I drop a couple of dots on that, it's going to break it up for me. And that's what we want. We don't want it straight, so we're just going to plop in a couple of dots. It doesn't have to be perfect. Shadows are not perfect. Because whatever we don't get in there, okay, we're, we're going to get the next color. And it'll fill it in. Those little scratchy marks, little dots, whatever you need to do to make it not straight. And that's what we're going to do here. And if you go out of bounds, don't worry, don't hesitate. It'll just be a blemish, you know. These little guys, something pokes them, they're... They change a little. No big deal. No big deal. Those little scratch marks. Maybe something tried to nibble on it. Just get those in there. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. My hand is killing me. I've been not crafting for two weeks. My hand is like, um, I don't remember this. <laughs> How do we do this? <laughs> but I'm super excited to be back with you guys. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait till you see the craft room. If you like hanging out with me live, I will be doing a live um, show and tell Monday. Um, pardon me while I look because my dates okay so Monday the 23rd I'm recording this <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern on a Sunday and you guys are gonna be watching this tonight maybe or in the morning tomorrow sometime on Monday um, I will be live on the 23rd and uh, I got some happy mail to share with you I've got um, my craft room to share with you. It's by no means perfect. Um, I have some, <laughs> I have a couple of areas that are off limits because I literally, ugh, we'll talk more about that later on Monday. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just fun? But look at how imperfect that is, okay? Just, it's, it's terrible, right? It's like, ugh, but no, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, trust me. Now we're going in with our medium. Okay. And we want the colors to blend together. Okay. So I'm actually going to start in the dark and swirl it out. Okay. And then we're it's gonna soften that line a bit. Okay. And then when I'm doing that, I'm going in there and filling in that area. And now you can't even tell. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're just going, and then we're going to leave a nice area for our, our tips, right? So this can get kind of messy. Because we don't want, again, we don't want it perfect to be perfect. <laughs> Wrap, wrap your head around that. You don't have to be perfect to be perfect. Okay. Can, that, that's going to be a thing now, right? Don't have to be perfect to be perfect. And the, these, these ones here, I'm just going to go ahead. And as long as it's not a tip, like these here, I think I'll do some of them bright and then some of them... A little mixy mix it doesn't really matter but some of these inside ones I'm not even gonna leave a lot of area for brightness if that makes sense okay and just kind of blend it and then where wherever there's white that's gonna be our brighty brights okay that fun bright green that we've got Look at that mm. and if you're finding you know it's not looking good just work at it a little bit more 
because you know it's had time to dry a little bit so just squish squish that marker around on top of the other color to help pull it around a bit I'm by no means an expert on coloring I do what I like I like what I do and I'm just sharing my point of view but again we don't want straight perfect lines we want it jaggedy and fun and um yeah more organic get that in there so maybe you know somewhere maybe we put a little couple little dots in there that'll be fun just like so loosen up don't be don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look good the first time you know i've been coloring and being artsy since i was a wee tot you know maybe you're just getting into the crafts because somebody told you hey you can do it no, people aren't born crafty they oh my gosh you guys <laughs> i'm digging this i'm digging this is so pretty um people are not born crafty um some people pick it up easier okay they have a knack for it but it doesn't mean you can't do it like i love math right i suck at it like count my fingers <laughs> you know where's the calculator but i love math um so they didn't tell me I couldn't do math because I really sucked at it. I just had to work extra hard for it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just adding a few extra squiggles to help break up some of those lines. Look at that. I do want to put just a teeny bit on these ones like so. Oh, look at that. Are you ready to go in for some uh, bright color? I'm trying to get, um, apologize if it's weird because I had to turn my phone the other way. And so the plug-in is on this end, which puts my camera at this end. And it's weird. So I'm going to adjust that a little bit. Now, here's the fun part, right? Look at that. Right over the top of everything. Oh, yeah. I could even use the big end of my pen, you know, at this point, if I want to. <laughs> but not at this point, because that point's too small for a blunt end. Get it? Pointy pointies. See, and then we're just going over everything we've already done. Kind of help blend them all together more. Look at that. Mm. And see those little those three little dots we did right there look how fun look how fun it's not taking us very long to color and always remember guys you know i do long videos because i want you guys to craft along or if you're cleaning and you need somebody to be there with you while you're cleaning i'm i'm your gal i'm like i'm here i'm here for you but, uh, you know, if you don't have the time, fast forward. Fast forward to the end. <laughs> See how things turned out. <laughs> That's okay. We don't mind. No, we don't mind at all. Just fast forward. Still counts as a view. Absolutely. Mm, mm -mm. Oh, look at that succulent. Mm-mm-mm. Simon Hurley really outdid himself on this latest release. Um, he did hand draw all of these, which is just right up my alley. I love, I love hand drawn stuff, you know, and a lot of artists do. I mean, there's so many artists out there that hand draw their own stuff um, or they get licensed. 
by like Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz sees their art out there and is like, hey, I need to share this in my collection. And yeah, so we can aspire to be something. <laughs> I would love to draw for a company. But right now I draw for myself <laughs> and sell it on my website. But oh my goodness, look at that. Aren't those the greatest color combination? If you guys, it's it's still, you know, a little spendy. You know, hundred I think $100 for 160 pens, 100 and something. I don't know. It's been a while. I've had these two years, the Arteza Everblend markers. And a couple of them are running low. Like this one is actually running low. low. I can't imagine why. I only use it all the time. But uh, the Everblends are really good, you know, in my personal experience. And I can only compare them to the Spectrum Noirs, which are kind of a disappointment to me, in my opinion. But uh, look it. Oh, so fabulous. And then I took this. There's that little flat spot. And there's that little flat spot there. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So that's the thing. Look at that. Oh, my fabulousnessness. Okay, I'm going to tape this down. I got to quit touching it. And then we're going to shoot it through the sidekick or your favorite die cutting machine. Now, if you guys don't have the die cutters, maybe you have the scan and cut. You know, you can definitely scan and cut or you can fussy cut. I, I do enjoy a good fussy cut, let me tell you. Is is soothing. I like it. So we're gonna put a little a little holder up there, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit at the bottom to really hold that because I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this away so it'll fit on our little sidekick here. I'm gonna lift you guys up, lift you up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't sing, Elizabeth. I know it's terrible, but sometimes. You just got to get it out of your system, right? I, I grab these scissors and then I turn around and grab these scissors. Don't mind me. Grab whatever you, you want to grab, right? Now I did a test. Ooh. <laughs> it's a tight, tight fit. <laughs> uh -huh, but look at it. <laughs> so excited. So hopefully, hopefully it'll cut. It should. I mean, mm -mm -mm. spell binders. And um, if you guys are looking for this stamp and die set, okay. I'm so excited. You guys can pick them up at Crescent Creation, Ranger Inc., Spell Binders, and Scrapbook.com. All of which are linked down below. They are affiliate links. It's fabulous. So if you're like, oh, I love this nested die. I love the stamp. You can go to scrapbook.com to pick them up. Um, Spellbinders, Rangers, you can buy these in sets. So you can buy the stamp with the die as a little bundle. Ranger does um, uh, loyalty points. Crescent Creation um, is having a sale right now. These are not on sale, but a lot of Simon Hurley goodies are on sale. And then, of course, Spellbinders. You know, they're the die and foil people, right? You see that gold and you know, oh, that's Spellbinders. Foil plates, all that fun stuff. But they are also partnering with Simon Hurley. That's why we get these lovely dies. Okay, where's my flat spot? There's my flat spot. Is that my flat spot right there? No. Where's my... I said once you see it, you can't unsee it. And then we're going to turn that. Oh my goodness. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you can unsee it. <laughs> it just spins right around. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay, so now we're going to glue this down. Look at it. 
That's what it's supposed to look like when you're um, alcohol inking. So don't panic. Okay. If you're like, um, it's bleeding through the back. Yeah. But keep, be mindful of that. It does bleed through. So maybe a scrap piece of paper underneath if, if it's uh, not moving properly. A lot of people do say that they put an extra piece of paper underneath whatever they're coloring. I've never had a problem with the glass mat. So I don't know. There's that. Isn't that cute? Ooh. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these colored up. You could cut these out of um, colored cardstock, whatever you want to do. But, you know, sometimes you just want things to go together, right? And, yeah, so, or you want it specific. And that's, that's what I'm doing. I wanted specific. I wanted it not perfect. I'm just going to go through and hit these edges. Okay, just like so. And that's done. Okay, I don't I don't want it super dark because it's going to go next to this. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. Just grab it right off the edge. Just like so. Nice, beautiful, clear skies. Look at that. Mm. Now, with our crown me, these are going to go on top. So, we don't have to go into the full center when we use the crown me, okay? Let me put that away. Grab our purple. Better move that. Get that little bit of blue that was left behind. And make sure, yep. Did I do the right side on those? Yes, I did. So, we're going to grab or crown me and I'm just gonna focus right on that little edge okay just like so not worrying about that center piece at all okay and this is just as easy as digging through your purple papers and whatnot it's just going to create a different look if you use pattern paper or anything. But look at that. Clean that little bit up. I know you guys are like, oh, she's not doing cleanup. Um, we'll explain that. <laughs> that later on Monday. Okay, so here's our card base. And this is not fully dry, We've only been recording for like 33 minutes. It's a good, good fraction dry. Um, I am going to pause, hit this with a heat tool, um, maybe do a couple of things, let it dry a little bit more because I piled it on, you guys. I like piled it on. But look, look at how beautiful. It just got more beautiful sitting there. Okay, you guys blink. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's all nice and dry. And we can start to put our card together. Isn't this exciting? Um, let's go this way. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is the Tropical uh, Tango Lunar Paste. Um, it's on... The Lunar Pace, I don't know if this one, but Lunar Pace is on sale at Crescent Creation. Again, links in the description for you guys. Um, you guys, I think I want to pop this up on that. I think that will just add a little, even more, just oomph, right? And look, oh no, that's too much oomph. Sorry, I'm gonna grab my, my other pieces out. This is how this one came. This is the first one that came like this where I had to cut into it kind of funky. Get my glue scissors, 
cut off a little chunk. I don't need a ton, just a little piece right there. Okay, get that open. Put that up right there. Look at that, oh man, it's beautimous. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of decide if we want that completely tucked in or off the edge, which I'm kind of voting for off the edge. Okay, so if we do both of those, just, okay, so like there to there, right? There to there. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we'll have our little blue piece on the inside like so how fun is that gonna be oh i love it okay let's grab some glue um it looks like i got a little something something on my card so i'm gonna flip that over crisis overted okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna put this piece down first why not okay go like so we're gonna get these guys ready. Kind of do them at the same time. So hopefully the glue will not dry too quick. Cause you know this barely art stuff whoa, dries quick. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put that right there, I think. Oops, sorry, I just bumped. Okay, just go like that. That scooched over just a wee bit more. I think that's it. That one might be a little crooked, but that's okay. Oh. You guys, sometimes I make bad decisions. <laughs> sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. I make bad decisions. Like, luckily that fits, right? Wasn't I wasn't quite thinking on that one. I just really wanted it to be kind of centered and look good. And I do everything eyeball-y. Oh, good. It fit under there, too. Look at that. Woohoo! Isn't that so cute? Oh, I love that. Let's plop this back in here. Okay. And then we're going to snip. Where's my little snippers? Yeah. go and off the back side Ooh -hoo -hoo. you can of course save those little bits for something else okay you can make a whole bunch of those but we are not saving them today oh my goodness look at that and then ugh, you could totally open it any way i was envisioning it like this but I'm not going to lie, that looks nice too, right? Like, ugh. So what would determine that is your sentiment. Sentiment? I can't talk, don't mind me. Okay. Because I was thinking just a note there. Or believe in your dreams. Or, yeah, just a note and then believe in your dreams. Or just, see, this is what's great. <laughs> just a note. So proud of you. Just a note. You inspire me. Just a note. Believe in your dreams. I mean, oh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to do just a note and believe in your dreams. 
We're gonna go for it, you guys. Ugh. We're gonna go for it. Now. <laughs> Don't panic, okay? If you stamp your, your thing and it gets wonky, you can cover it up. You can just stamp it again and then fussy cut it and hide your boo-boo. So I am going to stamp this just to make sure it's going to stamp good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Takes the uh, Simon Hurley Create stamps. I don't want to be too far low, so I'm going to go, like, right there. Oh, I messed up a little bit on the just, but that's okay. No, it's not. I don't like that. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about. We'll, t <laughs> we'll take our good one here, like so, right? We're going to snip that like so. And then we're going to flag it. And I'm just going to say I want my flag that big. And I want my pointy points this big. Okay. And then we're just going to use a little speckle of glue. And voila, we just covered that right up. Ah, oh, and let it dry a little bit. I touched it, but that's okay. It's better than what it was. Okay, so now we're going to attempt the inside. And again, if I mess it up, I'm not going to panic because I can just do it. And you can use your Misty or whatever you want to do. I guess I should have cleaned that off first, but that's okay. Make sure that's going the way it needs to. One more time for just making sure I stamp it properly. Okay, let's try that on the inside. And then we're going to... I'm not going to put it in the center. I'm going to put it up this way so a person could write a good amount if they wanted to. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's almost perfect. That might be perfect. I'm not going to measure that, but it could be. Look at that. And just a note. Believe in your dreams. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, thank you, Simon Hurley, for making such wonderful stamps for us to play with. And for letting me play with your new release oh, it's so fabulous and i will be acquiring the rest of the release um i i order it through crescent creation because i get a design team discount and all that fun stuff so as i uh, make some money through crescent creation i <laughs> will be purchasing the items i didn't get so you can check out my channel for more um this little gem uh isn't it just gorgeous? It is going to go into my shop. I am going to make an envelope for it. I think I'm going to stamp this on the outside of the envelope like three times in a, like a little cluster right there. But it will have a matching envelope. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that'll be in my shop, chatwithsassy.com. Don't forget, um, if you're following me on Crescent Creation, okay, there's this card I made. Let's pop this out. This one is um, going to be given away uh, this uh, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So go check out Crescent Creation channel. This is the MFT mini mugs video. Okay. And then this little one, this one is being given away Monday. And this is from my last Friday. Okay. Bring on the cake. So if you didn't leave me a comment, I can't enter you to win this one but look at more of that lunar paste that tropical tango um with the crown me just oh 
But this one, I love this one. This one's going in my shop. But, you know, follow. You might find a card um, that you like and I might give it away. Or you can order. You know, if you like this and you're like, I need a dozen of those. Chat with me. We can, we can talk about that. Until next time, my friends. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, glorious, crafty day. Bye-bye.